Sharif, it's Mitch Mitchell here. Um, last time I see Mitch Mitchell was he was boxing Brent Osborne, and uh, he got a draw out of that against Brent Osborne. Um, I think he, Brent Osborne was boxed him a bit here, but this Sharif he comes to have a go. He's a bit of a big puncher as well. Um, this going to be a good one. They're both tough. They both like to let the bit let the shots go. So. Uh, We'll see what happens here, but yeah, I, I expect I expect Sharif to, to come through this. But um, Mitch Mitchell, again, he's a tough man. He's been around on the scene. He knows what to do. He knows how to, how to do his thing, and he comes to win, which is the most important thing. Good job by Sharif. Getting tied up there. See a nice jab, nice jab there by Mitch Mitchell. Mitch Mitchell boxing on the, uh, the back foot, which is a bit surprising because usually he doesn't do that. He's sort of adapted here. The Sharif looking like he's trying to make it rough and tough, trying to get that that strong physique and that power he, he's got into play. Nice jab from Sharif. And a good right hand from Mitch Mitchell. We've got a, he's got a, a, a habit of upsetting the odds, Mitch Mitchell. And uh, I think he'll fancy, his, fancy, fancy he'll win tonight as well. Right and left hook there, taken on the gloves by Sharif. Sharif presses forward, rolling. Getting tied up there. The referee's giving him a bit of a warning there, telling him about the uh, about holding and that. Good jab again from Sharif. Mitchell just covering up, cuddling again, holding on. Referee parting him and back at it. Double jab right hand there, again, most of them taken on the gloves, nothing too clean really landed this round. Nice jab from Mitchell again. Again, good, Mitchell throwing the shots but nothing landed too clean really from either of them. Um, Nice jab there from Mitchell, landing clean. Good shot there from Sharif. Nice jab and a right hand to follow up as well. Yeah, Mitchell getting the jab out but it's not it's not landing uh, Sharif sort of stalking him but not landing too much himself
Okay, so we have round two here now. A schedule four rounder with Aji Sharif, nickname of General versus Mitch Mitchell. Adi Sharif looking for some openings. Rolling with shots, find a big right hand there. I like to see Adi Sharif pop the jab and get get behind it, get a bit busier. Like that, that was a good jab. Went for the body shot there. I like to see him push uh, Mitch Mitchell back a bit more. He's finding a good jab though, Adi Sharif. I like the way he's finding a strong jab. When, he lands, uh, when he's landing, Sharif, it's, you know, it's looking like it's, uh, it's having an effect as well. Mitchell looks like he don't, he don't want to get, he doesn't want to get involved, and uh, that's not the same. It's not the same Mitchell that I saw at boxing uh, Brent Osborne. With him, he he was just running, like sort of going at Brent and having a go at him. But with Sharif, he, you know, Sharif looks a much bigger, stronger man than him, and. Uh, Maybe he's seen uh, Sharif's last fight when he absolutely scorched the life out of whoever it was he boxed and uh, knocked him out. The brilliant knockout. And maybe he's seen that and he's just a bit wary of it. He's taken a few shots and, uh, like I said, he just looks really tentative. Like he, uh, he don't, he come, he's coming forward and he's, he's pulling away and he's thinking about not getting hit before he's even thrown his shot. And that's why he's, uh, he's not landing, to be honest very true you can't do that you can't um, be too tentative because you, when you're throwing shots you're snatching them so you're not really putting nothing to your shot your opponent can sort of sense it and then boom he comes back with his shot Sharif like the way he's rolling he's rolling really well and coming back with his little shots and I like the way he's not loading up too much Mitch Mitchell needs to just um, put a bit more players in the shots just a little bit more poise. I wouldn't be surprised if um, Adi Sharif throws a, a massive left hook off, off that roll. It looks like he's looking for it. Could be wrong, but as he keeps uh, testing, it seems like he could throw a good left hook off of it. I like to see Adi Sharif maybe throw a double jab right hand. So that's again Sharif coming out, stalking behind the high guard. Looks like Lucas Big Daddy Brown, doesn't he, Sharif? But yeah, coming out, stalking and rolling. I like to see him throwing some shots off of the roll, uh, making you know he's making him miss, but making miss and making pay. He's making, let's see there, even, even with a little wedge block, making a miss, but there, see, he's, at least he had a try and tried to come back with something there, but uh, yeah, he, he looks he looks a better fighter once he's making a miss, making and pay, and that's where the results will come from, looking for them big shots, but sometimes you, you need to not sort of load up too much of them and set them up with smaller shots. Yeah, Mitch Mitchell's not really doing a great deal either, to be fair, nothing, nothing outstanding is being landed. Trying that jab. Mitch Mitchell, that's one thing with him. He's, his defence is a little bit porous. He's cutting it with a jab every single time he throws it, Sharif. If he stepped in with it a bit better, you'd start seeing a bit more results, I think. Nice jab again there from Sharif. Mitchell covering up and holding on there, moving off. Nice jab again from Sharif. Looks really strong. He looked physically strong as well. A lot, a lot more physically stronger than, uh, than Mitchell. Mitch, 
Mitch Mitchell's not um, doing too much. He's hanging in there at the moment. He's popping odd shot here and there. But Adji Sharif, I think he needs to throw more than just the one shot. He needs to get a bit more busier. He seems like he's got a, a bit of power, but he's only throwing just the one shot. I like to throw, well, I'd like him to throw maybe twos and threes. Come off with something from the jab. He's throwing a strong jab, but nothing's coming off of it. And like you pointed out earlier, he's rolling the shots really well, but he's not rolling and coming back with nothing. I think you can see from the way um, Mitch Mitchell is, he's um, quite predictable. You could roll, 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 boom, come back with a shot. And he's not coming back with that shot. There's something he's got to point out. It's them little things like that what brings um, the lower fighters to the higher fighters. And um, he said and done from us because we're up in here in the, in the box listening and watching, but he's got to throw more than just a jab. He's not coming off with nothing. Round there, I've got Sharif three rounds up. He's basically won the fight and his jab. And uh there's that bit of aggression that he's he's got there pushing pushing Mitch Mitchell back, which is something I haven't seen too much. When Mitchell throws he looks alright but it just looks like he's he's a bit worried about Sharif's power. And uh yeah he's he's getting he's a bit tentative before he's even thrown the shot. Okay, so we've got the, f is this the fourth round, Danny? So we've got the fourth round now. I think um, Aji Sharif needs to just um, up the work rate a little bit. He's um, at a stage where he's learning in his career now, and I think he's got to um, throw a few more shots here and there, try different things. If he wants to learn the things in the gym, he's got to bring it here and learn it too. Um, not a bad performance at all. He's going through the gears, going through the motions, but I'd like to see him to step up a little bit. Mitch Mitchell seems to be um, slightly worried about his power. So far as Adji Sharif, I would see that as an advantage and um, work on different things. But he just seems to be throwing the one shot. I'd like to see him throw a bit more than just the one shot. Even if he's to double up to the body, double hook to the body. Yeah, there's just no, there's sort of no variety from uh, Sharif. Apart from the jab and the left hook, he's not, he's not really thrown a great deal else. Um, obviously, as he steps up the levels, it, that will the, the, the lack of sort of uh, the lack of I forget the word now, but the la you know there's not there's not many punches in his arsenal, not a great shot selection, and as he steps up, obviously he will, he will, that will that will maybe he's undoing if you know, but just needs to work on that a little bit more. I would have thought, you know. There's not been a great deal in this fight and Mitch Mitchell essentially is a guy that, that comes for the check, not for the win, Comes he knows his role and uh, Sharif, you know, should have used this as a bit, you know, it's a hard fight, don't get me wrong, but he should have used this as a bit more of a, a learning fight and tried a few more things because he's basically had it his own way here. When he throws his shots, he's landing there. Look, the jab, jab's landing every single time. He's won every round here, and uh, a bit more urgency would have just been, a, I think, would have would have gone a long way. Definitely would have gone a long way, and I think Adi Sharif has definitely got a bit of power, but at the moment he can't just rely on that power. As he steps up for the leagues of the fighters, um, just that power won't get you through fights. At the moment, if Mitch Mitchell Smith, sorry, if Mitch Mitchell had got busier. He could have made Adji Sharif work a lot harder for this win. Just throwing one shot here and there is not going to do nothing. At this stage now, he can get away with that. But as he steps through the gears of the fighters, he won't be able to do that. No criticism, just constructive. He's got the win, no doubt. Scheduled four-rounder. I'd give it 4 nil to Adji Sharif. Could have done a lot more. These are stages where you've got to learn in your career. He showed power. He showed a good rolling technique. So he sets to be another win for the general. Myself, Mena Edwards and Daniel Connors on the commentary. 
And we're just getting the verdicts now. 